Okay, this is uh, the next part of the video. It's going to uh, explain the voltage. You can turn it on or off on the main display. What it does, it puts the, uh, the voltage of the uh, internal power supply, which is around 24 volts. It'll put a little display down here in the bottom corner instead of showing the tip. But I don't really need to show that. I would rather show the tip because I've got many tips I can choose from. So I just leave the voltage off. You've got a low voltage warning. Um, that's an option. Some of these units have actual uh, six 18650 batteries inside to uh, provide power. Or you can run it. You can use it for other reasons. A little vo low voltage warning. Actually, let me uh, let me go into that, show it real quick. Okay, you can turn it on or off. You can set the alarm voltage, down voltage. I'm not even sure what that is, all that is. Maybe what voltage it will stop working at. I don't know. It no big deal for me. I don't even use it. I keep it off. Power on. I'm not sure how useful that is. You can turn the unit on and off from the menu. Um, it's got an, you know, the, the software is sort of universally designed to, it'll operate a desoldering pump. So that's what those are. 13 and 14 are for the pump. You can change the language. Only two options, Chinese, English. This unit came in English when I uh, received it. So I didn't have to change anything there. You can set date and time. It does have a little battery in here. I mean, uh, like a little watch battery. So uh, it can remember things like date, time, all your settings. Uh, let me see. Okay. Not sure what this is. Have something to do with the date or what day it is. System info. This is the particular version that I have. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's a reset. If you go into that, you reset all your settings. It goes back to uh, factory default. Then exit. Then it loops back to the first one. So anyway, I was going. I've got the uh, iron plugged in. I was going to show, give some examples. And of course, it's acting funny. I've never seen the uh, clock function displayed like that. It may be because I was running it without the uh, wand plugged in. So let me just recycle. I'll show you what it looks like and how long it takes to uh, boot up. Okay, there's the power on. And uh, it immediately starts getting up the temperature. I've got it set for 150 right now. The uh, wand, it really does get up the temperature quick within you know, it'll get from room temperature to 150 in like five seconds. And it will uh, jump up to the other temperatures really quick as well. This is what the normal screen looks like. Your uh, tip that's uh, loaded in there is displayed here. You change the uh, tip by pushing in and turning to the right or clockwise. See, now I can choose between the uh, different tips, one click goes back. The um, to change the temperature, one push. Turn it up. I've got the uh, steps and ten degree increments. Goes up to 480 max, but I have seen it go up to 500. If you if you're at an upper level and you hit boost, it will go up to 500. Anyway, let me turn that back down. Now, 
the standby is set for one minute. So if there's no if there's no uh, motion detected in the wand after one minute, it'll do a series of little beeps to warn you that it's going into standby mode, and the beeps will get a little bit closer together, and then it'll go in standby. Temperature will drop down, and uh, shake the wand. It'll wake back up instantly, or push the button. It'll wake back up. Or you can manually, if you don't want to wait to put it in standby, what you do, you push in and turn to the left. Sorry, I went to the menu. Oh, what you do, you uh, you just give it a quick turn to the left. You don't push it in to go to standby. There you go. I set standby to 150 degrees, so there's no big change there. Push the button, it goes back up. Let me uh, just set the temperature a little higher. Okay, set 200 degrees. Let's say I don't want to wait for it to go into standby automatically. A quick turn to the left or counterclockwise will automatically make it go into standby. Temperature starts dropping. Push the button to wake it up or shake the wand to wake it up. Now if you want to do a boost, it's just a quick turn to the right. See right now it's at 200. Now it's gone into boost. I've got it set to a jump 40 degrees, so it went to 240. Boom, just like that, give you an extra boost. And it'll drop back down after uh, one minute, which is what I have it programmed for, fully adjustable. Or if you push the button, it'll automatically drop back down. Uh, this is your internal temperature inside the box. Um, up here in the upper right, this is the power being used. And um, I'll show that if you set the temperature higher, you can see how much power is being used. And you can see it cycling on and off and the percentage of how much. So... See there, 100%, 80. Now it's up to 400 degrees. Now it's basically um, stabilizing at that temperature. See, it's jumping between, I don't know, 15, right around 15% on average from 10 to 20. It's a nice feature. It's got a clock. That's what the uh, 1721 is. So it shows your set temperature. It shows the uh, actual temperature that it's measuring. Drop it back down. So you still have your set temperature, which I like. The uh, real time temperature of the tip, you see it slowly dropping down. I mean, it's really a feature packed unit. Let me think what else. Um, I talk about uh, the uh, well, one thing. I'm going to power this unit down. The uh, the plug on this is a sort of standard, universal. So that's uh, no big deal. Now the way this unit comes, the uh, Switches have an unusual orientation. They're actually opposite from this. As you can see, this is the uh, top to bottom. You see the feet. Now, normally the switch is upside down to where you, where this would be the on position, and that would be the off, which is very uh, unusual. If you're the kind of person that gets triggered by that, the uh, switch operating basically the opposite of what you would expect. Take these uh, screws out, cover off. This particular switch over here will pop right out. I use some Allen keys to uh, get up behind it, wedge it, pull it out, rotate it 180 degrees, pop it back in. So now it's the way you see it, to where you flick it up for on down for off 
we've got a nice little fuse here. This just uh, pulls directly out. I don't know if you can see that. We've got a encapsulated fuse in there for the main power. Plugs in. Very nice. And uh, I think that's going to cover it for this uh, second part of the video. All right. Thanks.